Hello, welcome to Ask Pastor Friends. Glory, we are answering a question from Caroline. She says that, Pastor say, I've been thinking about this ever since. If God is our Father and knows all things, why would He want us to pray or ask before He answers us? Shouldn't He just grant us what we need? Wow, it's a very, very powerful question. And I know many Christians think in that direction also. But you know, Christianity is our expression of faith in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So when we say that you are born again, it means you have expressed your faith in God, who has become your father, like you said, through our Lord Jesus Christ. It may also means that you have believed with your heart unto righteousness and you've made a confession unto salvation. That is an act of faith. And because you have done that, or when you do that, every spiritual activity or engagement you are involved in, you need to do it by faith. You need to express faith. See, so the scripture says that the just shall live by faith. The scripture says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. See, so once you get born again, your life is a work of faith. And you see, and that affects every activity or, or spiritual activity or engagement you are involved in. For instance, if you are giving, for instance, your giving should be done out of faith, out of your faith. You can give your last, you can give what is your best. But you see, that giving is an expression of your faith in God, in His Word. You have seen what He has said, you have faith in Him, and you are acting accordingly. See, so you can, because of that, that means that you are expressing your faith in Him, in His Word. See, so every aspect of your life should be an expression of faith. And you see, that is the reason why God doesn't just say, oh, this person needs this, so let me give it to him, even though he's our father. It's just like salvation. God knows everyone must be saved, but he doesn't impose salvation on anyone. He expects that person to express faith in him. And then when that person expresses faith in him, that person receives salvation. The same in prayers. Prayer is an act of fellowship, and this is very important. It's an act of fellowship by which we express our faith in God, in God's ability to hear us. It's an act of faith where we express our faith in God's ability to hear us and God's ability to communicate to us. See, prayer is an act of faith where we, we express our faith in God's ability to hear us and also express our faith in God's ability to grant us what we ask. So you need to express your faith in God's ability to grant us what we ask, even in prayer. That is depending on the kind of prayer. And also, prayer also is, is our expression of faith in God, where we are expressing faith in our divine right to invite Him or involve Him in a given situation. So that is the reason why God doesn't just look at and say, this person needs and give. No, because he requires that we express our faith toward him or our faith in him in prayers. So when we pray or we ask, we are actually expressing our faith. And when we express our faith, then we can either receive or we can hear, depending on the kind of prayer we are offering. So that is it. Prayer is an act of faith. It's an expression of our faith. And God requires that we express our faith in prayers before there is an answer that comes out of it. So if you do not pray or ask, it means you are not expressing your faith. But if you pray or you ask, you are expressing your faith in His ability to do. That produces the results, you see. And that, that is very important. You walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you. For answers to previous questions, visit Christ World Television on YouTube. You can also send your questions to the comment section on our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube pages.
You are blessed.